This is such a truism. Well, hope you'll join me in this tour of the Grimsby Benevolent Fund thrift store, GBF. It's in Grimsby, right in the downtown general area. As soon as you go in, you see these, uh, I guess they've deemed them to be nicer shoes because they're right there at the front because they have shoes elsewhere in the store as well. Same with the clothes, some of the stuff there. Then they've got the uh, things like jewelry and stuff. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique, vintage and thrift shops within southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And the, as they say, boutique even has a clearance rack. The hangers look empty, but they all seem to have um, purses. So I guess this is what they call the boutique. This is the other side of it. They've got jewelry, watches. Then they've got other decorative pieces over here. They've added some more cabinetry from my last visit. Not, we haven't seen the new one yet, but it's coming up. Not as big, but uh, that's beside the point. Nice that they display it such that you can actually see it. Most of the cabinets have lights if they're not clear see-through like this. There was one I think the light was either burned out or there was something wrong with it. I've left it out of the sequence of uh, images. It was pretty dark and the items inside were dark with a dark background. Without a light it became uh, virtually a mirror because it was like a one-way mirror. I tried to do something a little better for you to view some of this, but that didn't happen to pan out. Finders Keepers. Thrifty Seekers. This is where the uh, costume jewelry was hanging on the wall. This is the, what I think may be a new cabinet that they've added had more of the glassware in it. <clears throat> so there's some crystal in there as well. They had quite a bit of uh, books. Um, topics and that kind of thing has to do with who the uh, folks who donate are. Long sleeve shirts for men. Very plain bunch of uh, clothes here. Uh, the, it was a very busy Saturday, pretty close to midday, and uh, this is about the closest. It's just a busy, busy shirt. Could work for business. And they got the suits and and pants lined up. There's their footwear prices. There's this is the rest of the footwear. They had a lot of shoes in this place. Adult and children. I think there was way more of the adult stuff though. And another area with purses and bags. So they've got what they've deemed to be slightly better ones and just the more average ones. So if the, you don't see a price on them, this is the price that goes with it. Here's some more of the shoes. And you can see the recorded media down the way. Now these were scarves and shawls. And there's the uh, recorded media. Books are two bucks. Soft cover is a buck. Children's books a buck. Craft patterns, a dollar, so on and so forth. 
don't often see one of these hair dryer chairs. Hell air filters apparently right there and the price isn't bad. A limited number of people who've got the space nowadays. Nice vase. Maybe a bit steep on the price. At $15. But it is a nice piece of art glass at the same time. And they had all the art kind of grouped along here. There was, I couldn't get pictures of half of it because somebody was picking through it so heavily. This is a mono turntable cabinet. I see that because there isn't a speaker. If there was a speaker, it was facing downwards. But you could repurpose it for just about anything, including placing another turntable in it. Which they had right beside it. But I was a little astonished by the price they asked for. It may well be worth $175. So, like I said, a bit steep. These wooden chairs, it's incredible how comfortable they are even though there's actually no cushioning on them. Folks, just, they're missing out on a good chair. This was one with no arms on it. So you get a bit of the feeling. Uh, there was a lot of people. It was easier just to do the still photos and show the place like that but I did get a little bit of uh, video. Plus, with all the stuff is placed so tall. Now, this is a, a smaller, older TV. 31 inch Bravia. I think it's a little steep on the price, personally. At least it has um, HDMI inputs, along with the other stuff as well. This was a keyboard stand. I don't know if they didn't realize what it was, but that, that generally what this is used for. At five bucks, that was a real deal if you needed one. They had a whole shit, an aisle of uh, Christmas items. The next aisle was all Halloween because we're just coming up to Halloween on the when we're recording this one. In the electronics, they had a couple of monitors. Now these were okay for pricing, considering they were six bucks each. You could do some interesting modifications and play with those. Even if it doesn't work out, you didn't put out too much. A bunch of speakers and other assorted electronics. And then we're into the glass. The place was so busy I had to kind of duck in and out, grab a shot where I could. <clears throat> Moments later there was often somebody there. And I think this is a Blue Mountain Wear piece and not a terrible price. These geishas, well three bucks a piece. And just to remind us of what's coming up in a few months, we have Snow Wishes. Now these were fabrics and the linens kind of grouped together along with all the crafting materials that you could probably ever want. I shall go into the thrift store just to look said nobody ever. I think we started with that. Appreciate you watching. Uh, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and a mark on the bell. Subscribe would be nice. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.